Hi viewers of Electronics Class Tanzania, once again, welcome to uh, Lesson 6 of Electronics Class Tanzania. Your coach engineer Mhina will uh, teach you uh, in Lesson 6 today about also transistors. In a uh, last week lesson, we learned about the amplifying effect of a transistor. Today, in Lesson 6, we are also going to learn about transistors and we'll see the region of which a transistor is operating. A transistor operate in three regions. There is active region, there is saturation region, and there is a cutoff region. And the transistor should operate in a active region. And that's because in a saturation mode, uh, there is this distortion. So, uh, according to the application of the transistor, any input signal with its shape, we expect it to have output amplified, but with the same uh, wave shape. So in a saturation mode, there will be some distortions. So we don't want a transistor to operate in a saturation mode because we want what is in input to have it in output, but in a, either in a uh, um, amplified way, but the same sine wave, the shape should be the same. So today, uh, at first, we will see a, a, a output characteristic of a transistor. Then we will have a a circuit in an active mode and also we'll see the circuit in a saturation mode okay uh, output output characteristic of a of a common emitter transistor Today, we learn uh, output characteristics of a, of a common emitter transistor. So we'll see the graph, which will represent, will represent the characteristic. This graph will represent the characteristic of, na, of an output emitter transistor. This is the voltage, VCE, collector emitter voltage. This is the um, collector current, the air of a collector current. This is the base current. This is base current. This is base current. This is base current. This is I zero. So we have for here we have here three regions. The first region is this one. Um, the first region is this one. I will shade it. I will shade it this way. This region is called the saturation region. Saturation region. Let's put our values here. The collector current is 2.5 milliamps. This is milliamps. We have 5 here milliamps. We have 7.5 here milliamps. This is milliamps values. Milliamps values. So this region is the saturation region. And this region, this region, which I B is zero, is zero. This region we call cut off. This is cut off, cut off region. This is cut off region. And uh, this is current in, in micro -amp. Let's say this is 60 micro ampere. This is 50 micro ampere. 
is 40 microampere, this 30 microampere, it's 20 microampere. Then we go, but here we have, uh, this can be uh, 10 microampere. Mm. So uh, here we have, this is IB currents. And uh, let's say, let's say we have here IB, IB0. Our zero is going to be here. So, um, yeah, be IB zero. So this this region is cutoff region. Cutoff region. So we have this region which is active region. So our active region is this one, up to zero. This is our our active our active region. So. Any values on your right hand side are values of active region. And um, we can have values here, uh, voltage. Let's say we have 5 here, 5 volts. Uh, VCE, here we have 10 volts VCE. Here is actually, here is 0. So um, a transistor operates in a, this regions. So, transistor regions, we can say, transistor region, we have this active region of operation, active, active region. We have saturation region, saturation region and we have cutoff region cutoff region so today we'll see um, a circuit in an active region also we'll see a circuit in a, in a saturation region let's see the transistor transistor circuit Transistor circuit in, in 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 active region. So we have a transistor here and the parameters. This is our transistor. NPN transistor. Here we have uh, RB uh, uh, resistor. This is common emitter. So we'll have our ground here. A ground here. We have we'll have our battery source here. And uh, we'll have our collector resistor here. Here we have our source battery. Yeah, this is a RC collector resistor. So this is our base. This is our collector. This is our our emitter. So let's put the values. Uh, this is a silicon transistor. So our beta, our beta is equal to hundred, and also VBE. Our VBE, our VBE is equal to 0 0.7 volts. Let's say we have here 5 volts, and here we have 10. This is positive, negative. Here we have 10 volts. This is positive, here negative. Uh, let's put our RB 100 kilo, kilo ohms. And here we have two, two kilo, kilo ohms. So let's find uh, IB. The IB is here, IB, and will flow in this direction. And here we have our IC flowing this direction because the, the positive here. 
So let's find IB. And this is just Ohm's law. Uh, this is a VCC. I mean, this is a VBB. This is a VBB. And this is a VV VCC. According to Ohm's law, we'll have VBB, which is this one, minus VBE, VBE, then we'll have the voltage here, the voltage drop here, of RB, then we'll have our IB. And also, to find IC is equal to beta IB. This is our formula. So this is our first formula. As you can say this is our first formula. This is our second. This is our second formula. Let's put the values because we have the values. VBB is 5 minus v VBE is 0 0.7. RB is 100 kilo ohms, which is times 10 times 3. Then we have 4.3 over, over 100. And this will have, uh, will be in a milli, will be in a milliampere. So, the values here is 0 0.043 milliampere because it's 5, 5 minus 0 .0 0 0.7. We have, we have 5.3. 5 so we have our IB. This is IB. We need IC. IC will be equal to beta IB. Our beta is 100 times our IB, which is 0 0.043 milliampere. So our IC will be 4.3 4.3 milliampere. This is our, this is our IC. So, according to the data here, the values we have. Uh, also, we can find a, a VCE here. Also, we can find a VCE. Yeah, since we have. We have IC, and we have the drop here. You can see, find the VCE. VCE is equal to VCC minus IC R RC. Uh, VCC is 10 volts. 10 minus IC RC. Our uh, IC here is 4.3 times 10, 10, 10 power 3 amps. That's our IC. And the RC, because it's a mill, mill amps is minus here. Minus milliamps. Our RC is 2 kilo ohms. So it times our RC, which is 2 power 3, because it, it is kilo ohms. So this one's cancel. This one cancel and this one cancel. So 4.3 times 2, we have, we'll, we'll have 10 here minus 8.6. Therefore, our VCE, our VCE voltage here will be 1.4 volts. This is our VCE. Our VCE is 1.4 volts. So, <coughs> we have seen the, 
these parameters VCE is 1.4 volts and IC is 4.3 4.3 milliampere so our, our our transistor with these parameters the transistor is in a active region the transistor is in a active region because the VCE is not zero, is 1.4 volts. In a, in a saturation mode, a VCE is zero. But here it's not zero, it's 1.4 volts. So our, 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 our transistor is in an active mode. Also, how can you know it's in an active mode? Because also, um, in saturation situation, the the IC is less than the beta IB. Here in, in a saturation mode. So our IC here is 4.3 milliampere, and our beta IB also is the same. So uh so so it's in, in in active in active region let's, let's see a uh, transistor in a saturation saturation region transistor in saturation region let's have our transistor here this is our transistor transistor circuit This is NPN. We have our RB here. This is a common emitter. It's a common emitter we ground here. We have our RC here and our battery. We have our battery here. And also here we have our input battery. So here is positive, negative, here is positive, is negative. <coughs> this is silicon transistor. So our beta gain is 100. Our, this is our VBE is equal, VBE is equal 0 0.7 volts. Also we have our here. VCE is here, VCE. This is VCC. And here is VBB. <coughs> so our VCE is equal to 0 0.2 volts. <coughs> our source here is 5 volts and here is 10 volts. Here our RB is equal to 250 kilo ohms. And here we have two, our RC is two kilo ohms. Our IC is here, that direction. And also the direction of our IB is this one. <coughs> so, <coughs> let's see. Uh, according to the graph, the output character characteristic of a transistor we've seen, uh, if IC will be less and beta IB this one beta IB if will be more than 7.5 then will be in a saturation mode this is a milliamps according to the to the graph and the first explanation so let's see our ib our ib here by ohm's law our ib is vbb again minus vbe over over rb so vbb vbb is five Minus VBE is 0 
of RB, which is 50 times, uh, this is kilo ohms, so 10 power 3. This is, this is a kilo ohms. So, we have here 4.3 over 50, but this will be in milli, a milli ampere. By calculation here, we have the values. It will be 0 0.089 <coughs> milliampere. Milli this is a milliamps. Milli this is our IB. We can have our IC here also, according to the formula. But our IC is better is beta IB and our beta is 100 times our IB which is 0 0.089 which are milliamps also this um, a milliampere so we have here uh, 8.9 milliampere um, this is our IC so let's find VCE. VCE. Uh, uh, VCE here we have VCE 0 0.2. Um, and also we can have IC here from the Kirchhoff's output characteristics or Kirchhoff's voltage law. From Kirchhoff's. Kirchhoff's. Uh, catch of slow. We have here IC RC is equal to VCC minus VCE. So we can we can have also IC here. VCC is is ten minus VCE is zero point two, and the RC divided by our RC, RC which is 2 times 10 power 3 because it is um, it's kilo ohms. This is uh, the RC is in kilo in kilo ohms. So here we have uh, we have um, eight nine point eight here, 10 minus 0 0.2 is 9.8 over 2, over 2, um, which will be 4.5 4 milliampere. <coughs> That's our IC. It's 4.5 milliampere. So, um, we have seen uh, IC this is beta IB we have said um, in a saturation situation if beta IB if beta IB is greater than IC okay, then the situation is in a saturation mode our, our, our transistor is in a saturation mode so we have our IC um, which is beta IB which is 8.9 we have 8.9 here milliampere and IC here we have 4.5 milliampere so we have seen 4.5 is less than 8.9 milliampere so at this situation, our um, transistor circuit is in a saturation mode. According to this, <coughs> this data and uh, the, 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 the condition which uh, put the transistor in a, in a saturation mode. That IC, if IC is less than beta IB, here we have saturation mode. And the beta IB is 8.9. 
3.9 milliampere and IC is 4.5 milliampere. So our transistor is in a saturation mode. Hi viewers of Electronics Class Tanzania. In lesson 6, we have seen the output characteristic of a common emitter transistor. And in uh, output characteristics, we have seen a graph, a graph which uh, shows the, the region in which a transistor operates. Uh, we've seen that a transistor operates in uh, three regions, and we have active region, which is in a, in a far left, in a far right. We have a um, saturation region. In a saturation region, the, the collector emitter voltage is, is zero. You have high, high collector current, but collector emitter voltage is zero. Then the transistor is in a saturation mode. Also, we have seen the, uh, where the, the region, the transistor is in a, in a cutoff region. So our, our graph shows uh, how the transistor operates in those regions. And to bear in mind that transistor should operate in an active region. Because in a saturation mode or saturation region, there is a distortion. And uh, the, the basis of uh, amplifying or the work of amplifying of a transistor is to have the input and output. The same shape is amplified and we got the output shape but with the same, the same shape. But in saturation mode there will be some distortion. So it's very important that the transistor operate in, a, in an active region. And also we have seen a two mode. Uh, the first one in a, a transistor in an active region. We have seen the data, the parameters and uh, also we have seen the transistor, the circuit of common emitter transistor in a saturation mode. And we have seen the, what made the, the, the circuit to be in a saturation mode. is because IC, if IC is less than beta IB, so our values in a transistor in a saturation mode, we have seen that IC was less than uh, beta IB, so the circuit was in a saturation mode. Hi viewers, thank you for watching uh, Electronics Class Tanzania. We are in lesson 6. Uh, we'll continue with lesson 7 next week and also we'll be in the transistors. As transistor is very wide, uh, so we have to go slowly so uh, many can catch up. So viewers, don't forget to like, subscribe and share so together we can learn Electronics Class Tanzania. Thank you.